Okay, uh, we're looking at a question on electrostatics from the November 2017 examination, the grade 12 examination. And this question is suitable for both grade 11 and grade 12 learners. A and B are two small spheres separated by a distance of 0,7 meters. Sphere A carries a charge of positive 1.5 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs and B carries a charge of negative 2 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. P is a point between A and B and is 0,4 meters from sphere A as shown in the diagram. And the first question asks us to define electric field at a point. We know this is a definition. We should always be learning the definitions from the exam guideline document that was issued by the Department of Education. And this actually comes from the data sheet equation E equals F over Q. And the definition is that the electric field, the electric field at a point, sorry, the electric field at a point is equal to the force per unit positive charge at that point. Going to the next question, calculate the magnitude of the net field at P. Net field indicates to us that there is more than one field at P. We can see that the charges lie in a straight line. So the net field would be the vector sum of the two electric fields created. So it would be the electric field created by A plus the electric field created by B. So we could add them because they're in a straight line and I'm going to choose a direction positive. I'm going to take to the right as positive. So now that we have our template ready, we now need to calculate the actual electric field that A causes. And we know the formula for electric field is K Q over R squared. We get this from the data sheet. K is a constant from our constant table, 9 times 10 to the 9. We are calculating the electric field caused by A. So we're going to use A's charge of 1.5 times 10 to the minus 6. And the question had asked us for the field at P, the net field at P. So we're looking at the distance between A and P. So this is very, very important that P is the focal point in this question. And we can see that the distance between A and P is 0, 0,4 meters squared. And they've given us that in SI units in meters, so we don't need to do a conversion. Putting that into our calculator, we get 9 to the power 9 times 1.5 exponent minus 6 divided by 0, 0,4 squared. And we get an answer of 84.375 newtons per coulomb. We know that the electric field is measured in the newton per coulomb. And the electric field is a vector, so we need a direction as well. So if I look at A, A is a positively charged sphere. And when we draw the electric field around a positive sphere, we know that the electric field lines travel away from positive and towards negative. So we can see that relative to P, the lines are traveling to the right. And now if I substitute EA, it's positive 84375. We're going to do the same thing now for B, the electric field created by B would be k, which is 9 times 10 to the 9. The charge at b is 2 times 10 to the minus 6. We don't substitute the negative sign, but rather we would use that negative sign to find the direction of the field lines. And the distance between b and p is what we're looking for because we want the net at p. So if the distance between a and b is 0, 0,7 and the distance between a and p is 0, 0,4, that would leave us with 0, 0,3 squared. So we're going to calculate that. And we would get 200,000 newtons per coulomb. 
To get the direction, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw the electric field pattern. Here's our negative, and we know that electric field lines always travel towards a negative sphere. So relative to P, these lines are traveling to the right. And so we would now substitute that as a positive as well. Putting that into the calculator, we would get an answer of 284375 newtons per coulomb to the right. Eight point three, a point charge of magnitude three times ten to the minus six is now placed at point P. Calculate the magnitude of the electrostatic force experienced by this charge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw this diagram uh, just to see what we have here. So I've got this point, I've got a point P here, and they tell us that at point P a charge is placed. So a charge of 3 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs and they want the force at this point. That is what they want us to calculate, the electrostatic force. Now we already know that we've just calculated the net field at that point to be, there's it, 284375 newtons per coulomb. So we can use our equation from the data sheet which says that the electric field is equal to the force per coulomb of charge. So I'm going to substitute 284375 is equal to F over 3 times 10 to the minus 9. And that would give us a force of 8,53 times 10 to the minus 4 newtons direction of this force would be the same as the direction of the field so that means that the direction would also be to the right same as what we calculated for the direction of the field i hope this video has been helpful to you guys keep practicing and share this video to as many friends as you can so that more people can learn and benefit from these videos